this. No. Hey, smoke. No, no, no. This right here is everything we will need to do a cross-platform Age of Empires 2 game, possibly. So we got this guy here, Pantium 3, yes, 3, uh, running Windows 98 uh, SE. I chose this one because it has a DVD drive, because my only copy of uh, Age of Empires 2 uh, is on DVD. Not for Windows, anyway. And we got this thing. I'm not actually sure if that will work with Age of Empires 2, but it is Power PC, so maybe I could look it up, but I don't want to. So this one should work because it's running 10.4. Wait, I think it's 0.4, maybe 0.5. Let's see. About. Oh, 0.5. Okay, 10.5. And this one is running Kubuntu 18.04. I haven't gotten the 10 update yet, uh, 1810, but whatever. We're going to see if we can get these to uh, cooperate. So we got it all hooked up to this Asus router. We're going to just forget Wi-Fi because that's just going to be a mess. So we're going to turn off Wi-Fi for now. There we go. All right. So first, we're going to boot them all up. Sounds like we got a disc in there. The eject mechanism doesn't work. It's probably Elmo. Yes, it is. Don't worry about that. Whoop, we're unplugged. Hurry, hurry, plug it back in. Okay, actually, the battery's not too bad on this since it was replaced recently. The Ring OS 9 2.2. Uh, we don't need Elmo. Alright, now. This thing. Ding. Yay. Oh, I should boot up pretty quickly because it has an SSD in it too. I had a 24 gig SSD lying around. I said that would be good with Windows 98, probably. Let's hear that lovely Windows 98 startup noise. Sound. Doc. Doc. Uh, yeah, okay. And this one's already booted. Okay, so let's install Age of Empires. Then we'll start. We'll start with this one. Make sure it can actually, can actually <laughs> make sure it actually can work on here. Because I'm not entirely sure. So let's see. Eject. Ooh, every time I roll, no. I'll probably have to. Change the clock if we want to connect to any networks. Ooh, move the router. Ooh, move router. Ooh. Okay. There. Um, okay, well, let's change the time. I'll have to... Oh, my God. Really? Well, go to the control panel. Go to date and time. Okay, well, here's the disk, well, obviously. Uh, it is October 24th, not 1904. Sorry, I don't have a tripod. I threw it out because it was broken. Whoops. 24th. There we go. 20th. Something. It's actually 25th then. Okay. Quit. 
That might be the wrong time. Whoa. It's, it's 12.07. Okay. Just check the microwave, that's all. Okay, now it's done. So we got the disc in there. There it is on the desktop. <gasps> no way! Looks like it might work. Oh yeah, that's just Norton, you know, doing its thing. Good old Norton. Okay. Agree. This is a totally legitimate copy of Age of Empires 2, I swear. Easy install. Custom install. Oh yeah, do the full install. Mm, yeah. I think I have room. We need sound. We're doing full install, so everything gets installed in the Mac. Okay, install. Select a disk to install onto. Let's install right to the CD again. See if that works. Uh, yeah, that one. Go. Cool. Oh, it's installing. While that's doing that, we will go to uh, Windows 98. Oops, that's just the chair. This is Windows 98. Here's my uh, collector's edition, which is distributed by Ubisoft. Uh, strange enough. Strangely enough. Uh, all right. Open the. This is actually the. DVD drive is part of the dock. So, without the dock, it's not going to read the disc. Stay closed. Okay, good. Sometimes it likes to open. Mmm, auto run. I miss auto run. It's Empire Deluxe. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know what that is. That's okay. Ooh. Oh yeah, the Trident graphics are just loving this. Okay, we'll just... Hmm. Now that is the gold edition we're installing on macOS, so... We'll do both of these. Well, that's just the fan spinning up. Don't mind that. Don't mind that! That's just the fan! I'm not going to install the no CD patch because it's too much mucking around. Continue. Don't look at my serial number, I think. Full. Print is not uh, That does not exist. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm also using the nubbin. So it's going to take a while. Now, this shouldn't take. As long because it is on an SSD, but I guess the bottleneck is the DVD. Oh, that is a loud fan. I think maybe one of the bearings is gone. Anyway, and I think I will have to install it on there, but I only have one disc. So, but it's already installed on Linux, so that's not a problem. So we'll come back after these are done, or at least one of them. So the uh, iBook is new. Oh, iBook. I the G3. That's it. G3 is almost done here. That'll take just a second. Uh, uh, the Toshiba. Oh, jeez, come on. Uh, the Portage. Yes, that's what's called. Portage uh, is actually done with uh, part one, really. So we can what? We restart. This is this is. Let me restart. Okay. So we will exit and then. Fine, we'll restart and then we'll come back to the phone. Alright, well then we'll come back and install uh, the Conqueror's expansion. I'll run it on here anyway, but why not? What are we doing? Still finishing? Okay. Cool. That's the kettle you might be hearing. I want a cup of tea. Oh, Sam, you ruined it. Alright, so now... I don't think it's going to open the autoplay menu again. So let's go here. Open the autoplay. Open the... There it goes. We're going to do it in French this time. No, no, no. No, 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 no. 
We'll just do English. Alright. Conquerors. I don't know if it's my camera or my computer that's running this slow. But anyway. Might be both. Whoops, don't look at my serial number. You know, whatever, who cares. So. I'm sorry, I can't hold the steady. Install. Okay. Now it's installing the Conqueror's expansion. Let's see where. G3 is. Still, um. Still not. So, that's fine. I have to install the expansion as well. Uh. Just you have to hurry up with that disc because the G4 needs it. Oh, wait. Does this work without disc? Ooh. I'll have to see if I can get some work. Uh, I might have some more DVDs. Or, I might have another uh, legitimate copy that I purchased. Anyway recorded before, uh, I'll have to check that in a second, but we're about to install Age of Empires 2 on the iMac, iBook, sorry, G4, I always call it iMac, uh, or MacBook, anyway, let's install the full install and let that run, should be a little faster, maybe, I hope, oh yeah, uh, HD, uh, yeah, good, please wait, we will wait. Do it. Come on. It'll go. Nothing recorded last time, so uh, as a follow-up, this guy, the G3, it finished and it all went well. Uh, wake up now. And so I'm gonna have to test that, and make sure it doesn't need the disc, and if it does, uh, I'll think of something. This one also just finished, so now we can set up menu. And we can not play yet. We will, though. We will. This does need the disc, that's for sure. That guy does not. So that's okay. Because uh, it's already been installed and configured, so that's okay. And, okay, so that's that. Now, this guy has been kind of stuck here for a bit. Uh, might have to restart it, because it's been sitting, waiting for me to play a video for about a week. And I, I'm going to restart it, actually. So I'm in the middle of restarting this guy. I have a feeling it's hard drive might be bad, but oh god, I don't want to open it. Now, we're gonna see if this guy can work without the disc. So let's see, Age of Empires 2. Please work. Browser is running. Oh. Okay, well we'll turn fi file sharing off for now. That's a good idea. Uh, we'll turn that off too for now. Might as well, right? All right. Hmm. I should probably rename this. I think the other one's called Nox's Eye Book as well. So, I'll name it uh, Nox G3. There we go. Okay. So now. Let's see if Age of Empires works. Two. Age of Empires 2. Damn it. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to see about that. Well, meanwhile, we will see if uh, we can get this installed. We had a bit of an accident last time. Agree. Install. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that hard drive. I thought I did. Okay, well, this is what we're doing now. Hmm. Now, while that's doing that, uh, oh, wait, I don't think I can do much right now. Hmm. I'll see about making another copy, or a no, backup of Age of Empires 2 for PowerPC. This installed last time I did it. So I don't know what's going on. It must be a bad hard drive. But I really don't want to open it. To get to the hard drive, you have to pull the entire thing apart. We'll just hope this installs. 
If not, well, I don't know. We'll see. So this whole time, I thought it was stuck. It was actually installing, just not showing me the progress. Fine. Recommended installation. What? 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 Do I? What? I already. No, I already installed it. Go away. Okay. Well, that's good. Now we gotta figure something out. I'm gonna go get a CD. Oh, I have one. I don't know. Okay. So now this one has a disc, and. This one doesn't need a disc. Oops, don't worry, we can move the chair. This one, someone's moving the line, okay. Excuse me a second, sir. This one has a disc, and this one has a disc. So we should be ready to play Age of Empires 2. Now, I'm not gonna try the Conqueror's expansion, uh, because I know that's been modified on the Linux computer over there. So, with, you know, patches and no CD things and stuff like that, so, we'll just run Age of Empires 2 and see how that goes first. So this is going to be hosting because it is the fastest one being an i7 from 2012 instead of, uh, what's the newest one here? Probably that one. 2004. Mm. Anyway, so that is in Wine. Microsoft Games. We're going to turn this down because it's 1 in the morning. Okay. Program Microsoft Games and uh, and yeah that. Oop, there I am. Beautiful. Skipping the intro though. Whoop, skipping that too. Perfectly, but it runs well enough. So I'm doing local. We'll create a game. Uh, right. So Toshiba, maybe make it Japanese. There's two Toshibas, so. though. Oh no. We can both be Japanese. Who cares? This one will be blue, I guess. 2A, so that's the version number there, is 2A, 2.0A that is, so make sure that that's uh, the same version numbers on these. It'll be easier for me to change this and the other one, because I don't think there's any patches for the Mac version. So, might as well go down chronologically here. Um, let's see if it opens. Don't play startup movies. Sounds good. Disable sound. No, I use hardware cursor. What? Yeah, sure. I guess. Is that background music. Uh, no, we need the background music. Um. Yeah. Okay. We'll just auto that. Okay. Play. Play. We're just gonna skip the movies. Who cares? Now. Oh, does this use direct play? This is, see that's different. This isn't Game Ranger. Well, the other one uses a zone, the internet gaming zone. Hmm. Oh, uh. Mokes. Oops. Mokers. No. Mokes. It's an M. Okay, we can only do TCP IP. Oh, interesting. Join. Hmm. Okay, we may have to configure some network settings. Next, let's see, chronologically, that's 2001, that's 2003, I think? No, that's not 2003. Actually, it might be. Oh, let's go down this way because it's easier. <laughs> it's right here. Okay, alright. Age of Empires 2, vanilla. Oh, yes, I gotta accept more stuff. Yes, I, of course, accept it. Yes, you may have my firstborn, okay. 
This might be bad. Where's the volume wheel? Oh, oh it skipped the. Oh, okay, whoops. We're not screen stretching, but that's okay. Oh, wait, there we go. Oh, new player. Pokes. Jeez, I can't take with one hand, apparently. There we go. Oh, it's pretty good. 1280 12, 12, by 1024. I can't talk. Graphics detail are high. I'm pretty sure we can. I think we can do that. How do we save? I think I have to quit. Now we open up again. Okay, well, it's fine. Multiplayer. Let's see. Local land, local land. Come on. Come on. I see. I see. I knew this would be a problem. Okay, well, let's just make sure the game runs. And one more on this guy. I did, didn't I? I did. It's not reading it now. It's not reading it. Oh, come on, read the disc. Maybe if I restart. I have to. Give it the eject. Um. Okay, well, we'll restart that and see where we're at. Just, uh, oh, we'll take that out for now. Then restart. Okay, so we gotta configure some network stuff. Um, okay. Turn me over the, uh, Portage's fan, but anyway, uh, so. One issue was that uh, the G3 is set to use airport. And apparently you can only use you know, you know one network connection at a time, of course, so obviously. So we had to use the built-in Ethernet using DHCP, and now we have a proper IP address, so that looks good. Close that for now. But this, oh, wait. Hang on, hang on, I forgot all that. Let's pop in the CD. Spin up. Come on, read the disc. Read my disc. Oh, yeah, it read it. Okay. There she, oh, nice fade. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess they had to get like uh, third party porters. Porters? I don't know what you call them. Uh-huh, okay. Too bad I don't get the intro or the uh, option to turn those off, but that's okay. It's just a click away. Nice. Okay, options. This is only going to... Oh, wait, we have to choose our name. Now we will be... Jokes. Okay. Can we go up to... No, we're at... Eight. Okay, so not much we can do there. So, multiplayer. TCP. I have to actually enter the IP address. Okay, well, we'll do that in a second. Okay, so that will explain why that thing is having issues. And mix, let's make sure that this guy is having uh, has a proper IP address as well. Him, 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 him. Where is our control panel? Control panel. I'm sorry I can't hold this steady. Uh, network. I don't know how much networking I've done on Windows 98, but not much. Fast infrared. Oh yeah, fast infrared. That's what we'll use. No. Oh, finally that fan shut off. Where's our family login? What? Uh. 
What is primary network login? I don't know if we need that. Okay, properties. Obtain IP address automatically. Okay, can you tell me where the IP address is in, please? I probably need to enable DNS, actually. What? Okay, well, we'll... Jesus. We'll just, uh, let that go. Okay. Um... We're gonna run IP config. God, I hate using this nubbin. Okay, IP config. Oh no, the fan's spinning up again. We have what? Two Ethernet adapters. Okay, well we have one, and it gives us a. Hmm. It gives us one one dot two one two. Well, the other ones have zeros. Hmm. Okay. So that's something we need to fix. Oh, okay. It's already imported. All right. Um. Wait. So. PCI. So this one. Wait. Which one was it? Maybe I shouldn't have closed that yet. IP config. Stop fan. Okay, Ethernet adapter zero. I don't know which one is zero. Enhanced. Uh, yeah, sure, do that. I don't know. Um. Do four duplex. Yeah, sure, why not? Do that. I don't know. Sure. I'm not really sure what's... Well, this is... I've never actually done a lot of, uh, any networking on Windows 98. Hmm. Gateway. Well, we have to... It has to be the router, so that'd be 192.168. What was the router again? Oh, no. Okay, well that's, uh, so it's probably 0 0.1, so we'll try that. <laughs> okay. 0 0.1, unless it's using the Bell router because it's connected through Wi-Fi? Because uh, uh, this router is actually in repeater mode right now, which I should maybe turn off. That'd probably help. DNS, I probably should use DNS, but I don't know. We're not going on the internet. Do we need it if we're not going on the internet? I actually don't know. Without binding to ATM? I don't fucking know. Say okay. Hope for the best, I guess. Why do I have to restart? I'm sorry, I wasn't even looking at the screen. Okay, we'll restart for now. I'm gonna turn it off repeater mode and just turn it back into regular old router mode. I think that would definitely help. I do lose internet, but that's okay. Um, administration, that's the one. Wireless router. Uh, still call it laboratory. Network key, I don't know. Okay, right. sure, do that. <laughs> well, the router's gonna restart. In the meantime, uh, we'll check this guy's network settings. I don't wanna make a video that's too long, have my phone crash. I'm gonna restart this. Hang on. Okay, so we're gonna check this guy's uh, network settings. Alright, well, it's not gonna be. Alright, this is. Okay, so now it's 1.1. 1 .1. Okay, well that's good. So, that's not a very good IP address. That usually means there's a, there's a problem. It was not 192. Uh, that means you've done something wrong. Oh, wait. So this is now the router's restarting. So we should get a proper one. It doesn't. Okay. 
Okay. Are we all have all of our lights on? Okay, we do. Okay. So one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one. Oh. Uh, okay, well that's alright. You can actually just go to router.asus.com. That will usually bring up the router if it's done restarting. Whoops, I want to check my Facebook right now. I oh, it's recording. Hmm, it might still be restarting. I don't know. Now I've done it. Now things are possibly working before and not now. Okay. That's great. Maybe it's just a... I, I don't know. Let's see what this says. It's giving me the same IP address. I bet it won't if I restart it though. So we're have a great time. Right, what's our IP address then? No, oh, we don't have one right now. Now I've done it. Oh wait, we're getting... Oh, never mind. Oh, now I've done it. Okay. address that's okay um, so what okay I shouldn't have touched it I touched it and I shouldn't have touched it I'll just restart the router Ooh, that's neat, but no. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Tick a pa, yep. Tick a pa, yep. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, I guess we wouldn't have an IP address right now while it's. Uh, while it's uh, restarting the router. Or while I'm restarting the router. Wait, yes, we do. 1.34. Oh, well, that's good then. Hopefully, that means everything's working now. This froze, I think. That's good. Ah, uh, the reliability of Windows 98. Alright, alright. Now we got a proper IP address here. Okay, so I just had to restart the router, I guess. Let's see what this is like. <laughs> we can access it now. That's good. Yep, that's right. Factory settings. That's okay, we don't need internet right now. We also don't really need Wi-Fi right now, but that's what we are. Okay, good. Okay, right, uh, let me just do if config again, just to see what our IP address is. Uh, yes, wonderful. Okay, we have a new one. Yes, 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 everything's working. In that sense. Now, let's start up our server from here. Great. Thanks. Cool. Create. No, it should be called 10 speeds again. 10 speed, of course, is uh, the evil bicycle from the Amory Wars comics. Anyway, uh, good, we don't need that. So, so uh, I don't think in the Mac version that you can just uh, let it search for games. I think you have to enter the IP address. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, so it doesn't do that. 
and also <clears throat> here we are here again stuck it froze so I changed something that I should not have so wait 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 we gotta do we gotta do safe mode let me okay that's fine we don't need safe mode I guess except we do because it froze again come on give me safe mode here we go safe mode and I'll uh, see if changing all those settings back to normal fixes that because I, I don't know what the fuck I was doing okay so but there's other ones for now though and we'll let's see close that in verse 2 let do its thing don't play when it's trying to move blah, 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 blah. good <laughs> Okay, so we need the IP address, which was 1.145. Okay, so let's enter that into here. So 192.168.1.145. Okay. I know the game. Good. Great, awesome. Okay, we're gonna stop recording for a second. This is great. Well, I changed everything to uh, default settings for the network stuff because I don't know like, what exactly broke it. So we'll just fix, put it all back to normal. Let's see if that works here. Ah, all right. Let's watch that. And make sure it doesn't freeze there again. Code doesn't come through very well. Oh, it froze. Hmm. 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 I may have to just reinstall Windows. I'm not doing that right now. It's 1.30 in the morning. So that's not happening. Hmm. Maybe we'll just let that go and let it figure itself out. Ah. Now these are not connecting to this, and I, I honestly didn't expect it to. Uh, so, what's this? Oh, that's the tech tree. That's not gonna help. Hmm. There's a fly buzzing around me. Hmm. Hmm. Shouldn't be anything blocking it. So, what's going on here? Why isn't it at the bottom of the screen? Go. Go to the bottom. Okay. Well, uh, anyway. Ah, uh, boy. What, what What? can I do? Maybe I can... Hmm. It's just Age of Conquerors. I'm going to do that. Maybe I can... run it as if it's Windows XP? That might help. We'll see. One could fig Windows XP apply. Ah, boy. Okay. Well, let's see. Wine that 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 and that. It's probably not going to change much. Just going to say, it's going to lie to everyone saying it's Windows XP, that's all. Ah, boy. Multiplayer. Create. Alright, maybe. I'm ready. There we go. That doesn't help much, actually. Yep. Still the same number. Okay. Keep it there in case I forget. Mm -hmm. That's not good. 
Uh, and this is before the uh, age of empires. No, if before the age of uh, system restore points. So that's just how it is now. I will have to reinstall Windows 98 or something. Uh, or maybe add something stupid to the auto exec, and that might be related. Uh, let's see. Let me figure that out. So. Here's how we're going to fix the uh, Toshiba. Uh, here's actually the my original hard drive, but the hard drive that I cloned from. So it's basically like having a backup. Uh, I should probably make an image of that before I uh, go ahead and just pop it in. But I probably won't. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Alright, let me... Oh boy. I definitely need two hands for this, so I can't keep recording. Let me get this chair. Alright. Alright, you gotta take it off of the, uh, what do you call it? Hang on, more light. I'm over here now. Anyway, i get more light. Alright, so that's unlocked now, I think. Yes, okay. So now, click these little buttons, hinges, I don't know how you call them, switches. Come on, there it goes. And it lifts off. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Okay. Ooh. Hey, don't take my product key if you see it. Alright, just one screw. And then there's four more screws. I got a screwdriver. Ooh. There we go. Usually it is one-handed. Come on, come on. Ooh, ow. Okay. Definitely legitimate SSD. Don't worry about that. Okay. All right. So yeah. Uh, four screws on this little. Uh, what do you call it? Sled. I'm gonna pause the recording for just a second. All right, all the screws are out, so we can just take the sled off. Take it out of the sled, whatever. There it is. Bracket, sled, I don't know. And put the hard drive in. I'm looking through the camera, so it's a little weird. All right, now we're going to pause this again, because I need two hands for this. All right, we have the hard drive back in the sled. So let's put it back into here. Oops, I think it goes in this way. Like, like, like that, and then, oh, come on now. This is right, isn't it? There it goes, I think. Let's make sure it breaks up. That's fine. Okay. Oh, it's just stiff. Ooh. There we go. Now I keep recording the floor a lot, so I keep forgetting where the camera is. All right. Now, it will definitely boot. It'll take a, probably a few more seconds to boot than it usually did, but that's okay. I'm going to put it back on the uh, docking station. That's what it's called. Or just dock, I guess. Ooh, all right. Let's put these back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's clicked, that's clicked, and then there's a little switch on the side to lock it right here, here, and it's locked in place. Let's watch it boot. Where's the button? I missed it. Boot first, that's right. Yeah, yeah, we've seen this before. Mm, I'm seeing that hard drive purr. Yeah, 
Any day now. Any time. Oh, 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 hey! Non-safe mode windows. Now that means I have to reinstall uh, Age of Empires again, but that's okay. As soon as I click this, the fan's gonna spin up. Ooh, using a nubbin with my left hand is even worse. Daylight say, oh. Um, that's wrong. There's the fan. Well, let's change that. Uh, October. 20... Oop, too far. 82. And... What is the 25th? And it is... 10... The 6th? Yeah, it's 20. close, actually. And okay. I think in some sense that's actually working better with a regular old spinner drive. Spinner drive? <laughs> a fidget spinner drive, yeah. I don't know. Me mechanical drive? Yes, that's what it's called, I guess. Magnetic. Alright. So now we need the disc. So let's get that. And pop that in. And we'll just record the whole installation procedure again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on. Give me the autoplay. I don't know if it's running faster, but I think it'd be running more reliably, maybe. I don't know what it'll do with this SSD. We'll see. Neat. So, whoops. Oh. Get that installed, and if you can hear me over the fan, we're gonna get that installed. I'm gonna skip that though. Okay, we are now at this point where uh, we've installed the expansion. So let's play. Yes, we accept, of course. So kind of weird it skips that, but that's okay. Oh, which one is this? Mokes? Hopefully. Uh-huh. 1024, mm-hmm. Now, what if this is the one that hosts? Alright, so it is the mokes, random, and the blue. Alright, let's start this one up. Ooh. the other older Toshiba, we can maybe remove it from the dock as soon as the game starts, because the disc is only needed until the game is running. Ooh, no, that's okay. We only need one disc for every two people. Oh, wait, I think. We'll keep the disc, and we'll just have to deal with the noise. Should we go with Conquerors? Wait, can we go with Conquerors? Oh, we can! That's using Conquerors, too! Oh, but... Yeah, but this is... Um... Hang on a second. Hang on. We have to say we're using 10.1c. There we go. That's just the no CD thing. It also upgrades it to a newer version, well, supposedly, which I don't know what it adds or takes away or whatever. I think just the no CD patch. 
Alright. So conquerors. Okay. Skip, skip, skip. Okay. Looking for games. <gasps> we see it. So, it's just that the old Pentium 3 is the one that has to host it. That shouldn't be an issue at all. Now, are we seeing it? No, not yet. Okay, well, let's get the game started on the G3. And right there. Did I start it? Yes, I did. Okay. Let's get this G4 computer. Okay. These chairs are in my way. Uh, where's my cursor? There it is. I'm looking through the screen. That's why. Okay, so... That means I didn't have to touch the IP configuration before that made Windows 98 crash. Okay, anyway. Right, right, right. We need to, for some reason it doesn't detect it automatically, so we just need the IP address, which is uh, one dot two one two. Okay. So one nine two dot one six. Oops. Eight dot one dot two one two. Okay. I have a look at game. Hmm. Hmm, these might be no, if it's an older version, it will still detect it. It just won't connect to it. Hmm. Wait, we have to select. Okay, that's right. One, nine, two, I keep smacking the camera, it doesn't help. Dot, whoop, dot, one, six, eight, dot, one, dot, two, one, two. Hmm. Can we create? We can create. All right, another cool idea. What if this creates and the rest of them connect? We'll see, let's see. So, stop your game. Go away. Kiss it. Okay, this should... This is playing the intros. Okay. What if... Come on, look for games. Come on. Um, hmm. Hmm, I thought there was a way to... Um... Oh, oh, that's right, okay. Serial connection? I don't know about that. Hmm. Out of curiosity, I bet this will find it. Oh, let's see, let's see. Multi prayer. Okay, oh, well, right, well, we gotta type in the IP address. <laughs> Give me your IP address. Uh, 163, okay. Um, 192, not 168. Whoops. Dot one, 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 six, three. Boom. Didn't find it. Okay, well, there's something wrong with the way Mac does things. Okay. So, I'm gonna go back to that hosting, see what happens. <laughs> okay. Create. Create. Here we go. Okay, and this is. One, four, five. Okay. Let me skip that. Right? <gasps> Look at that. <clears throat> Look at that. There it goes. <gasps> Look at that. Uh, it's found it. That's good. So let's connect to it. Boom. So I am Mokes on this one. 
What's, what one is this? Oh, this is Mokes. Oh, we have to change our name. Uh oh. That one's Jokes. So this one will have to be... Um... Blokes. Makes sense to me. Blokes. Okay, my phone's doing something weird, so I'm gonna stop recording for a second because I don't think it likes making too long of videos. Uh, just out of curiosity, we have the G3 uh, hosting for just the Apple for now, just to test some things, or Mac OS, I mean. And look at this, we actually connected. So it seems everything is working. So I'm going to try connecting to the Windows version and see if that does anything. That was 145? Yes, okay. 145. No. Hmm. Hmm. Well, if we host on here, okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And then we go over here. I forgot to get the IP address. Then we connect. So it's 192.168.1.1. And just smack my phone and let me get the IP address here. The IP. Okay, 163. Mm -hmm. uh, dot 163. Boom. <gasps> We're in. So now, let's see if we can connect one of these. Maybe both, who knows? Cancel. Could have canceled from the Linux one and be faster. That's okay. Could have really canceled both. Cancel. There it goes. Games. Maybe just can't find it. Okay, that was the other game. That's okay. Whoops. There was. Oh, it might be thinking of Age of Empires 1 where you can actually enter the IP address. Smack the wall with my chair, it's fine. Hmm. I was pretty sure there was a way. I had a way to create one for. Hmm. I was pretty sure there was a way to actually input an IP address. Just out of curiosity again, so we're going to disconnect from that one, that's okay, we're going to join. Oh wait, I think I already tried this. No, I didn't. 192.168.1.145, which is the Linux computer. Nothing. Hmm. So we'll have two separate games of Age of Empires going, but that's not what we want. That's not what we want. There has to be a way. I'm gonna find that. Okay, well, a few things. Figure this out. First of all, uh, frequently asked questions. This is from uh, archive.org uh, from Bold Games. They're the ones who ported uh, this for P Power PC for Mac OS. Uh, where was that now? I frequently ask questions. So, does Age of Empires 2 for Macintosh support multiplayer gaming on its players on Windows compatible PCs? Unfortunately, we are unable to offer support for cross 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 platform multiplayer gaming at this time. Now, this is an old uh, version of this website. Maybe I can see about a newer version where they updated or something. Let's see, 2007 here. Uh, click on it. Get it. Mm. Ok, 
Take okay, it, that big one. Let's see. Ooh, that's not good. I think maybe 2006. Mm. Sometime in 2006, that's when they still supported it. Oh, okay. They weren't doing too well, apparently. 2005. Maybe they had some good news. Oh. 2004? Oh, no. They didn't last very long, it seems. Come on, get that big one. Mm -mm. Hmm. Come on. Come on. Oops, I'm middle clicking accidentally. Oh, here we go. I just wasn't clicking on it right. Here's the newest update. Okay, that's good. Uh, still no. Hmm. All right, well, let's uh, see if the 2007 one works. God, I keep middle clicking. Let me close these. I think after 2006, though, it's not looking great for them. No. Okay. Hmm. I'll just keep going back. Uh, no. Now these are all destroyed, I guess. Uh, gone. They're all gone. Hmm. So it looks like it never actually supported cross-platform. For whatever reason. Probably some... I'm going to blame Microsoft. I don't know. It seems like it's probably their fault. Or... Yeah, it's probably Microsoft's fault. But at least we got this uh, version 10 point, sorry, 1.0.5 update. So we're going to install that on both these guys here and, and see if that does anything to... I don't know. Maybe Hopper situation. So install that. Uh, okay, there it goes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait, what do I do? Oh, I just... Install. Uh, ooh, new features. Here we go. And a confirmation dialog for the command key. Key strings for incident. Oh, okay. I was 10. You can choose to run two to six colors. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. We're looking for features mostly, but. Mm. That's about it. Jaguar problem. No, I'm not running multiple on your your system, that's okay. Hmm. Well, we'll install it anyway. It doesn't add any new uh, useful features. And while we're at it, we've already put it onto this thing, so we're gonna... Whoops. Eject that and install it onto the G3 as well. No. Choose your agent... What? Gold, I guess. That's what the update's for, right? Okay, well, this is successful, so that's good. Alright. I'm sure that changed something, maybe. Well, we can use 256 color mode, so I guess it worked. Display in-game cursor. Oh, so that would be disabled by default, I guess. Anyway, let's get that going. Take this out. Let me go over here. <laughs> well... We'll install this update, and I don't think it's going to work, because they don't think it's going to work. Didn't think it's going to work. Oh. Can't go. Yeah. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Why is my USB drive showing up? Here it goes. I have to plug it in after, I guess. Okay, so... Uh, we want this. Self-extracting, whatever. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, unstuff it. Mm, unstuff it for me. Whoop, fingers in the way of the lens. Yeah, I know. I want that. Unstuff it. Mm-hmm. There it is. Mm-hmm. Mm, missed it. 
You appear to be installing software. Yeah. I want Norton to suspend. Yeah. Shut up, Norton. Okay. Continue. Mm-hmm. Uh, gold, I guess. Yeah. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. Installation was successful. Okay, well that's good then. You can close that. You can close that. Special ejector. Clunk. Oh, what? We now remove. Okay, well, don't give me the error noise when you. I think that sound is actually called Sosumi. If you've ever seen a really crap, uh, no, no, bass fishing or deer hunting game on the Wii, it was Destineer, the guys who owned Bold, who made it. Likely. Okay, so, doesn't go show us our, um, doesn't show us our version number here, so we have to actually, uh, wait, one, nine, two, uh, one, six, eight, uh, one, uh, one, six, three, if I remember correctly, which I don't think I do. Oh, well, I have to host the game first. Uh. Siri, host the game. Oh, no, that doesn't work. All right, create. It just says the same version number, so it's probably different. Oh, it's one, zero, six, five, wait, what? Zero? Oh, right. I needed to connect to Wi-Fi temporarily. Ah, uh, I need to gotta quit the game. Okay, okay. Wait, we can't quit here anymore. Oh, all right. We have to cancel, I guess. And then, oh, they took away the X button in the top corner. Did they put it on the other side? No, they didn't. Okay. Okay. We have to. Current airport off for now. And then start the vampires too. Yeah. Blah, blah. Okay. Mm. Alright, so that should be there we go. One six two yes, that was correct. So now we can connect. <laughs> and, okay. Okay. And okay. There it goes. Great. Yes. Yes. Alright, we will say, I'm ready. Uh, I can't start the game, that's right, I have to start the game from this one. Run back over here. I'm ready. And also... Stone, please. Get stoned. Alright, and start. <gasps> it's gonna work. It's just not gonna be clap cross-platform is all. And I'm a little disappointed by that. But, I'm not a miracle worker. Probably gonna be slow as balls. Ooh, we're in. Okay. You guys chop some wood. Wait, are we all oh, wait? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's right, this mouse only has one button and for some reason it's set to a two button layout by default. Okay, so you oh you know we'll come pick berries. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you can chop wood. Yeah, exactly. Oh 
Oh, there's another guy hiding behind there. I see you. You silly pants. Alright. Is there oh yeah there is. We have some gold. I'm gonna build a mine. We're gonna get some wood. Alright, uh, you can just click off here. And somewhere on the map. Okay. <laughs> this isn't turn based. This isn't gonna work at all. Oh, good. You. Uh, okay, you pick some berries. Eh, okay. Hurry. I know someone's coming. Eh, eh, build a mill. Okay. And y you. Uh, build a. A storage shed. Where's a, I don't know. Oh, hey, a sheep. Nice. Okay, build a, what's it called? Lumber mill? Lumber camp. Oh, okay. Storage shed, lumber camp, you know, whatever. Let's get a good look at that glare on the screen. Yeah. Also, why am I playing through the camera? Uh, <gasps> uh oh. I think someone's coming. Get that sheep. Yeah, I bet there's more sheep behind him, too. <gasps> there are so many sheep! Smack him! Wait, where's he hurting him? <gasps> I never knew they actually herded them towards... They herded them towards the mill. I did not know that. Well, that's news to me. Alright, well, while this game's going, I guess we can get this one. Uh, game was cancelled. Oh, that's probably my fault. Okay. Well, of course it's my fault. I'm the only one here. <laughs> oh no, we gotta get rid of this. Uh, gotta start the game. Uh, keep middle clicking. It's not working. I hate this trackpad. It's awful. Um, turn off Wi-Fi. Connect the Ethernet again. Conquerors. Multiplayer. Um, local, no, yeah, local, yeah, that's right, okay, and create. I click, I'm ready. So I'm gonna... <laughs> yeah, I think before, it's because I was telling it that, that is version 10, or uh, sorry, 1.0 E, which is just, I don't know what that includes. I think bigger maps and stuff. And there's Milk's no game showing up, perfect. But I think it wasn't showing up on this one because this is 1.0c and I don't feel like installing the rest of the expansions and no CD patches. And oh, look at that ping. Oop. Oh, okay, it was like 800 before, but it's not now. What did I say? I'm ready. Eight. That's important. <laughs> okay. And start game. Oh, smack the camera. Good luck. The drums are slightly off time, but that's okay. We're marching at the beat of our own drum. Come on. Come on, we can do it. Yeah. Come on, white balance that. Yeah. I'm going to turn the brightness down a little. Mmm, because we're not screen casting. Why is it still so bright? Okay, that's all right. So, get those sheep. Ooh, ooh, build a mill first. That would be great. Great in between. Perfect. You, build a lumber camp or whatever. Lumber camp. Mm-hmm. You go explore. Oops. We're in, now we're in two button mode, I forgot. Right, we'll explore. Yay, they're picking berries and shit. Okay, first of all, get those sheep. Two button mode. Two button land, really. Alright. Look at that. I'd never seen them herd them towards... Because usually I don't bother. That's good to know. Cool. Now, what's my enemy up to? Let's see. <laughs> Alright. 
I don't like this one as much. There's not enough women. But there's enough sheep for the for us, I think. Ah, this you, trying to play this game on a nubbin is not fun. Eh. Yeah. Bush him. What? Bushwhack? You go explore over there. I have a feeling he's over in that part of the map somehow. Alright, you guys. Um, build lumber camp, I guess. Bamboo. We're just gonna get some bamboo, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, see, that's how I usually do it. It's just like, sheep, bring it here, and then I smack it. Alright. Well. Oops, sorry. Uh, yay, get some wood. We need more women, though. But anyway, I guess that's about all we can really do. So, uh, it seems the cross-platform was probably, uh, they probably wanted to, but they never got that working, and then they eventually shut down like, only a few years later. And so cross-platform was never going to work. But at least we can play between two max, I guess, maybe, whatever. I don't know, but I have one more computer to play Age of Empires on, that's nice. Uh, I got another Pentium 2 at work that probably work, it has MMX, maybe, but it's actually running the game pretty well, I mean it should, it's, it's period correct, so it should work. But the game is running on all four systems, and uh, these two systems are all, or these four systems are all connected to each other's game uh, across from each other. They're all doing stuff there. I guess that's it. <laughs> Don't know if there would be any other videos like this. This is something I've always wanted to try and uh, it was a complete failure. So there's, there's that. Goodbye.